Hey everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Simply G and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I um, restore or remove stickers from library manga or ex-library manga I should say. So those who follow my channel on a regular basis know that I do often buy ex-library or used copies of manga just because I find a lot of especially standard viz volumes are a lot cheaper secondhand and I don't I'm not as picky as some collectors are when it comes to the condition that books are in I feel like if you can get a very good ex-library copy it's just as good it's just as readable it's just as functional as a new copy usually at a fraction of the price so I've had a couple questions asking me to show off how I actually get stickers off of these books and things like that and today I'm going to be showing off my process on a copy of Kakaishi this is volume 28 and you can see it has a spine sticker here uh, this sticker is from where I bought it which is Better World Books um, and you can see here there's kind of a uh, adhesive line all the way up we also have a sticker on the front here this book also has uh, the security sticker on the front and I sometimes take these off I, I don't think it's a necessity unless it really really bothers you and because this one is in the front of the book I'm not going to worry about it there's also some tape here so I'm just not going to even mess around with that um, and although this book is in pretty perfect condition, I'm also going to tell you how I fix rips and tears and things like that. But what you will need is obviously a library, ex-library manga. Um, you need a hairdryer or a heat gun. Um, I use magic tape um, there's also document tape that you can use that's a bit more expensive pardon me but but i feel for this level of restoration for this type of book you don't need something super duper uh fancy or special we're not you know library archivists or anything like that plus the adhesive in this tape isn't going to yellow your pages or anything like that it's also always a good idea to have an eraser. I also use an old set of tweezers to help pick off labels if they're particularly stuck. Now the main thing that I use and that is very important is some sort of cleaning oil. I use peppermint. I've also used tea tree oil in the past. Either of these are good and a little goes a very 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 long way with these um, and finally although this book doesn't actually have any issue in this regard um, if you are worried about yellowing a very very fine grade sandpaper this is 240 um, is good for that so I'm going to just get straight into it and I hope you guys enjoy before I start I do want to say that make sure that you're in a well ventilated room um, some of these essential oils can be like really, really strong and always be sure to dilute your oils if they're not already diluted for you. I'm quite lucky in that I can get pure essential oils where I am, um, but do not work with pure essential oils. That's not good. You're going to hurt yourself. They're, they're not, not fit for just like throwing around willy nilly. So be sure to, to dilute them or just buy them diluted. You're saving yourself, your sinuses, your skin, everything else um, by preemptively doing that. Not working with like pure peppermint or pure tea tree. Um, just a little bit safer that way. So first off, I'm going to use my hairdryer to get these stickers off. I always start from the back and work my way to the front just because especially for like the spine stickers or the spine adhesive in this case it's easier to pull from the back if you make a mark on the back cover it's a little less of an issue than if it's on the front cover for a lot of people 
so yeah i'm just going to do that and just to make sure you're you're moving constantly with this this uh, heats up the adhesive obviously kind of reactivates it and makes it a little easier to take off so You can use just your fingernail to get under that and it is hot as well so just try not to burn yourself or anything um, obviously a heat gun gets much hot, hotter than a hair dryer uh, hair dryer um, and you can see here there's like quite a bit of adhesive still on here you can do it longer and there won't be as much adhesive but I find that the oil works really well, so I'm not even going to spend that much time on there. And try to get as many of the stickers off. Paper stickers are harder though. So you can see there's still quite a bit of adhesive on there and there's still this paper but that actually won't be that hard to remove especially once the oil gets on it or you can use the back of tweezers or an uh, orange stick and try and push it off if you don't mind that there may be potentially small little indents you just do all of this very gently um, obviously the less force you put into something the less damage you may potentially cause but yeah this isn't this doesn't feel like it's wanting to move much so next take your oil put it on tissue can see how quickly like all of that adhesive has come off there's still a little bit but you just go over it a couple times with your oil and your tissue and the great thing about peppermint oil and tea tree oil as well is that you can just rub it all over the cover and it gets any excess dirt off and it actually um, like dissipates into the air very very quickly so you're not going to end up with like a super oily book afterwards either
Now, you can see there's not actually a lot of adhesive that was on that sticker. So I'm just going to wet just the little tissue and just go over everything. Just get that last little, I mean, it cleans the cover, gets any excess residue off. Um, I did want to say that um, when you do this, always make sure on all of your volumes to do like a little patch test. The Viz standard stuff is fine for this, but if you have a matte cover or whatever, you should always try that before. And then um, you can see there might, you might be able to see that there's like a little bit of excess. Just wipe that down with dry, dry bit. And there you have your newly stickerless adhesive list library book. Next, I'm going to take out the actual like inside stickers here. Um, you can see there's a security one here and then this is just like a normal sticker uh, that would have been for the library. So what you do is you apply some heat on there so you can pull it off without ripping any of the paper first and then like with the outside you just use a little bit of the peppermint oil on a cotton bud and um, even though it will look like it's staining the paper you just have to be careful especially on these these covers like the back covers it may look like oil stain for a little while but the great thing about peppermint oil is that it, it evaporates into the air pretty quickly um, and it won't leave an, a dark spot. You just want to be like with everything careful when you're doing this. So I'll just get into doing that. The thing about these types of stickers, there's a paper top part and then there's like a plastic part where the actual metal bit is. And the reason I use the back of the tweezers to get it is just to make sure that I push that plastic bit off as well because that's really where the adhesive is. So I run my fingernail over it just to get the adhesive, just again like you do with the other, like when you're doing the, the other side of this. And you can see it actually, there's a little bit of the color that comes off, but um, usually these are white or hopefully you don't actually mind that much if a little of this is discolored just to get that stickiness off. And see, like I said, there's it can look like there's oil seeping through in the back. Do not freak out. That will go away. So you just leave this exposed to the air for a little while. You might want to do it overnight. And that will go away. Um, it's actually quite amazing how quickly this will just go back to normal once you've finished. Now, there's also a sticker here. Um, but I... This is just an ad on this page and there's artwork on here so I don't want to try and mess around with it. It's up to you whether you want to get that kind of sticker off uh, when it's on like the actual pages because that can be a little bit more difficult and you risk a lot more damage. I feel like this isn't going to be impacting my reading or anything so I just prefer to keep it as is you know I, I don't need to read the ads for the back of the book so next if you have a 
page. Like here, it actually has tape in there already, but I've had a couple volumes where like this cover page and the rest of the book may be splitting apart and you just put in your magic tape like this tape has been put here. You can also take this sticker off with the hair dryer and then oil combination, but be very, very, very careful uh, to only make sure the oil gets on the adhesive when we're doing this, especially if it's on a cover, because that oil can seep through this paper. So sometimes it's just more trouble than it's worth, especially if it's not, you know, actually impacting how you're reading any of this. And go through your pages. If there is a tear, just use your magic tape. Pull, get as much as long as the tear is, plus a little bit more. So you just place it where the tear is. Uh, magic tape is really great because it does actually like disappear once it's on the paper. And then you fold that over. And then, so it goes over a little bit. And then just do the the back side of that tear. Just make sure to line it up as closely as possible. And while it's not good as me, it it's very like it's it you won't notice it when you're reading, I find, unless you're really, really, really aware of it. So now we have a book with no stickers, um, and the inside and outside stickers uh, taken off. Now, I'm going to leave this one out, but you can see like this cover is very flipped because uh, I've been pressing it open and cleaning it up. Now, um, when you have it on a shelf, whether that's stacked or vertically or whatever, this will usually be pressed in no problem. You don't really have to worry about it, but if you are really worried about it for whatever reason, I actually use my homemade book press, which is like so. Um, it This is A4 size, and I basically just made it move the boy out of the way. Uh, I basically made it with two screws, some wing nuts, some washers, and these are two IKEA bamboo cutting boards. I also have some feet on the bottom here, super glued. So basically what you do is you loosen it, get some space in there. You can chuck a book in there, whatever book you may want, and then tighten the wing nuts as desired until it's really tight. And that will flatten the book out again. So if you do have books that are curved for whatever reason, uh, it does make it easier. It does flatten them back out. You want to keep it in your book press for uh, generally about 24 hours. But um, again, this step isn't really a necessity if your shelves are really tightly packed anyway. It's just a a good extra for whatever books you may be restoring. It's another step that isn't necessary, but I think people would maybe want to know that the option is there. And it's quite easy to make, quite cheap to make too. And finally, um, I'm going to just show off on the top of this book because the rest of this book doesn't actually have that bad of yellowing. But you just take your little sandpaper and so you can sand until you get your desired color this is pretty close i mean it's not it's way less yellow and i i rarely do this step if ever but if you are someone who yellowing really does annoy you then that's a good option so this is how i do a couple things to restore my library books. There, a lot of the times there's things that you can fix, sometimes there's things you can't fix. And that's always something you have to be aware of when you are purchasing X Library manga. Hopefully these will help you 
though in order to get a majority of the outside stickers on any internal tears i feel like if you are buying used or second hand you have to be aware that this the these books have been around a long time or they're not they aren't you shouldn't expect them to be like new so if you're like me in that sense i think these will get your ex library books into a pretty nice readable condition that won't look too out of place on the shelves. Things like sun bleaching and things like that are issues you're not going to fix with these sorts of methods and so again whenever you are buying secondhand or from a library you need to be aware of that. So hopefully these tips will help you a little bit. It's not perfect method but it's what I use and what I find found most consistent for these volumes for my own collection and for when I am buying secondhand from library sales and things like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this has helped you in your own um, you know collecting and I will catch you in the next video. Bye till then.